with this video lesson i'm gonna show you guys how to spot and identify a potential short squeeze what key characteristics to look out for training your eyes to pick up on chart patterns if you're new to the channel here i'd appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button join the trading learning 101 community where we all grow as traders and investors i have well over 800 videos on my youtube channel jam-packed filled with education for you guys take advantage of it learn from these video lessons to become a better trader and investor today's example we're going to take a look at sev this was on our watch list today for potential squeeze but as you see it did not squeeze and that's okay we put together a plan and not every plan that you put together is gonna play out but I want to show you guys what we were looking out for for a squeeze on SEV. Now SEV, we'll look at it on the one minute time frame. The last three trading days, this stock was in play. Day one here, it ran from $4.75 all the way up to a high of $9 a share. That's a big run for a small cap stock after it made that run it pulled back down to this 650 level seven dollar level right here got a nice pop at the end of the day on day two and then after hours it ran up to a new high up there at nine dollars the next day on day three right here you could see that multiple times it failed to break up higher now you got to put yourself into the thinking or the mindset of how is a short seller thinking about this play what is their approach so what's the goal for a short seller the goal for a short seller is to short the stock when they think it's high enough ride it down and make profit as prices tick down lower but with small cap stocks, it's a very, very competitive field for short sellers. One, there's very limited amount of shares of this specific stock to short. Short sellers, it's a very, very competitive field. There's all kinds of short sellers out there fighting and searching to find locate to short this stock when they reserve shares even if they don't use those shares to short the stock they still have to pay a locate fee and a borrow fee so some short sellers some of them may feel obligated to use those shares to short the stock that's when you get into the psychology of things and you got to get into the mindset of how all of these different traders are thinking out here. This is why we see a lot of great short squeezes in small cap stocks. We see a lot of amazing short squeezes, a lot of them, and a lot of people don't fully take advantage of them. I always find opportunity, always. The stock market has always given me opportunity every week for as long as I've been trading. I just have to patiently wait for these opportunities by studying these charts remembering patterns breaking down history human nature will repeat again so with sev here first thing the float the float on sev is 20 million it's not a small float it's a medium float that's a pretty medium sized float at 20 million next up looking at the daily chart we see that this is a former runner right here the stock ran from twenty dollars a share all the way up to a high of 47 dollars anytime i look at the daily chart and i see big huge green candles or upper wicks like that that's telling me the stock has legs and it ran before so it's got potential to run again recently it got driven down here it bottomed out at four dollars it got that nice run up to eight bucks and it's starting to pull back down there's still some upside potential and opportunity on this name it's got potential to run up to 10 12 14 
there's a lot of upside potential on this but now that we go into the intraday chart on the one minute time frame here we got our nice big run up here stock pulled back held most of its gains from day one right here it pulled back right there and it held most of its gains that's what you want to see anytime there's a stock that makes a move to the upside and it pulls back pullbacks are healthy they're healthy for more continuation to the upside ideally you want to see a stock hold at least 50 percent of its move for a continuation move to the upside we got a nice healthy retracement nice consolidation all at seven nice end of day pop there stock pulls back runs after hours up to nine now now we're opening up day three right at around this 750 area right there short sellers are thinking that this stock it's topped out it stalled out at that nine dollars around two to three times we delete all of this get back our yellow it topped out right here right there topped out right there and then it stalled out right there so short sellers are thinking that this stock it's up too much it's topped out it's in the back side of its move once a short seller starts to think that the stock is in the back side of the move that's when all the short sellers start piling in because they want to make money to the downside remember we just made a big up move to the upside right here so short sellers are thinking we have all this opportunity to the downside from nine dollars all the way down to four fifty five dollars that's four dollars per share they're thinking in their eyes so if we start to pull back and gear up there's always going to be a potential there to catch shorts with their pants down and squeeze them out we ran up to nine we're opening up at 750s we're making higher highs higher lows from the established pullback day two here at just below seven and notice every single time that this stock popped, it got denied. It got denied right there, got denied right there. But you notice there's some characteristics going on here. If you really zoom in on this day, right here, day three, at 7.50, when this stock was consolidating in the morning, right here, and it fell through right here, to me, and this is my thinking, that's not convincing that's not showing weakness that's a little fake out right there for the stock to fall through 750 down to 7 what 30 it falls down 20 pennies grinds right back up and then it comes right back up and now it's holding just above where it fell through from that little range it was in this stock had potential and look at the volume start to push into it right here stock surges back up makes a new day high since the open up at eight dollars and when it starts to pull back it's holding up right at near that 750s where it was consolidating right there so ideally you'd be looking for it to build up off of right here and get that ramp to break up through that high of day and then that is where all the short sellers have to buy to cover their position then you have retail longs that come in that i call it a double whammy and whenever you have a double whammy that's when you could really start to see stock prices skip to the upside the stock is squeezing and when we zoom out on this again we're an earshot away from its highs up here at nine dollars all of these highs so if we're consolidating right here when you're zoomed out on this chart at 775 and we run up and break through that eight dollars all we need to do is run up another dollar and we're at recent highs shorts start to panic they cover more people come in and buy the stock pushing prices up this is how short squeezes happen you guys this is the importance of knowing how a short seller thinks and all of the mass psychology that's going on you want to see it before it happens and you want to put together an idea before it plays out that's where the smart money 
the 10 percent that's where they're making their money they're not buying it when the stock's running up to nine dollars no they're in here putting together a plan and slowly starting to get a position going down here at 750 775 eight dollars and then they're the ones selling to all the dumb money that's chasing after it after the fact it made its move think about it you guys everybody has their stock scanners and screeners set up to pick what type of stock stocks that are hitting new highs new daily highs weekly highs monthly highs yearly highs all these different highs everybody has their stock screeners and scanners to pick up so you want to be on the lookout train your eyes to put together this type of stuff and the only way you're going to get better at it is by practice you should be educating yourself educating yourself how to read and identify candlesticks you should know the ins and outs of candlesticks candlestick formations candlestick patterns the different types of candlesticks you should be educating yourself on patterns basic technical analysis skills you guys it's not about the types of indicators that you're using on your chart it's about paying attention to the bare bone basics keeping it simple bare bones simple i don't want to overcomplicate things all it is it's a fight between the bulls and the bears that's all it is and you have history to look back to tell the story of how that fight is playing out between the bears and the bulls you can go back put it together candle by candle time frame by time frame to up to current date and where you're at in that story that's being played out i may this video may go over a lot of people's heads especially if you're new you just be like hey that was a lot of information that was thrown at me i have no idea what you just said dude now i've probably already lost 90 percent of viewers attention people's attention spans today are so short that's why tiktok is the number one app right now little three second five second videos everybody wants things now gimme 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 i want it now you gotta dedicate yourself to this you guys you gotta have a passion for this you gotta be willing to sit here for countless hours and learn from other traders look at their perspective how do they view the market look at your perspective how do you view the market educate yourself it all comes with time you guys it all comes with time and to give you another example we see all the time here in small cap land go on nice runs look at veru recently looking back on this from ten dollars a share back here this thing ran up to a high of seventeen fifty seven dollars and fifty cent this stock ran up from ten bucks and then today from eleven fifty it's ran up to thirteen dollars that's a good buck fifty run to the upside and yet a lot of people especially new people that come into this game they focus on penny stocks stocks that are tenth fractions of a penny and they focus on little tiny moves these stocks that move dollars at a time they offer really great amazing opportunity amazing and you see a lot of really good technical breakouts with these types of stock here's another example real quick pik this one day one it ran from four dollars up to a high of seven dollars and fifty cent then as you see as it progressed day two day three it slowly decayed all the way down to where it started and then on day six the stock exploded from where it originated way back here day one four dollars a share stock came all the way back down and from four it squeezed right back up to six dollars a share rips and skips up two dollars in about 10 minutes and all that it was short sellers covering their position 
after the stock topped out up here at 750 and then day two it stalled out to push up higher short sellers pile in on this stock they ride it down to make profit and remember when a short seller has to get out of a position what do they have to do they have to buy to cover their position that's what causes these short squeezes and all that this was was short sellers they were covering their position and if you would have known to look out for something like this educating yourself you could have taken advantage of this stock there's unlimited opportunity in the stock market you guys unlimited opportunity it's up to you to educate yourself and focus on the type of trader you want to be again if you're new here to the channel hit that subscribe button join the trading learning 101 community where we all grow as traders and if you made it through this entire video let me know in the comments down below say the word short cover and i'll know the dedicated traders and students out there that watch this through i'm mr wolf as i always say have that patience have that discipline study 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 later you guys